So we're beginning our new venture this week with the uh, the Redline Report webcasts, and since the CHL Top Prospects game took place last week, we thought that would be as good a place as any to start. Uh, we'll start by talking about a few guys who either helped or hurt their cause the most dramatically in the game. Um, first of all, I think you have to talk a little bit about uh, Cody Eakin. Uh, he hasn't been healthy for a lot of this year, but the, uh, the Prospects game really plays to his strengths. It's a wide open affair. Uh, emphasizes speed and a lot of skill, uh, not so much in the heavy checking and, uh, and physical department. Uh, and Eakin was a real standout in the game. I mean, his speed and his skill level showed through, scored a couple of nice goals. Um, and I think he probably helped himself more than anybody else in the game. Uh, you look back at the, at the defenseman a bit, and uh, I thought uh, Charles Olivier Roussel is a guy who uh, hasn't had much attention coming from a small market in Shawinigan in the Quebec League. Uh, but he threw the biggest hit of the night, uh, a great open ice hit uh, coming across the blue line, and um, made some really nice crisp breakout passes, uh, did some nice things at the offensive end, uh, played it physical in his own zone. So he's a guy who showed that he's a good two-way player, uh, can, can take it and, and go with the puck offensively, uh, can dish out some punishment uh, in, the, in the defensive end. Uh, did a good job at both ends of the arena and, um, and really you know, started to climb up the draft rankings a bit. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum, Tyson Barry is, uh, is a kid who, you know, this game was not made for him. Uh, he has big problems in his own end. He's, a, he's an offensive defenseman, but smallish, and his, his defensive flaws were exposed on numerous occasions in this game. Uh, he had trouble with the outside speed. He had trouble dealing with bigger, more powerful forwards in front of the net. Uh, he was lazy getting back on, on the power play, and that led to a, a shorthanded goal by David Gilbert, who out-hustled into the puck. So, all in all, a very bad night uh, for Tyson Barry. Um, what I, one thing I really want to talk about, though, in a game like this, you don't get a really good vision because it's kind of a glorified exhibition game about uh, what guys are about every night, but uh, the goaltenders are always under duress. There's always a lot of shots. There's always a lot of quality chances. So, you know, you can get a, at least a little bit of a read on all four of the goaltenders. Um, you know, you had uh, Olivier Roy is, uh, is a top flight uh, netminder in the Quebec League. Uh, problem for Olivier Roy is, uh, well, out of the four goaltenders in this game, he's, uh, you know, he's probably the most athletic and flexible, uh, great reflexes, uh, has probably the most pure athletic skills, um, fairly technically sound and advanced, but... The problem for him is, uh, you know, you're talking about a 5'11 goaltender who, you know, frankly, he goes down more often than uh, Pamela Anderson in a Tommy Lee sex video. So when you're talking about a 5'11 goaltender who's down on the ice a lot, it leaves the top half of the net exposed quite often. Uh, NHL caliber shooters are going to be able to pick that weakness apart. Uh, he has a tendency to do a lot of swimming down on the ice. So, again, when you're talking for a, about a 5'11 goaltender, that's not a good trait. Uh, as you've seen in the, in the NHL the last five years, the tendency is towards much bigger goaltenders, 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", and even up from there. Uh, and from there, that kind of leads us into uh, Nathan Lewin. Uh, you know, Nathan had a very difficult night. Uh, you know, he gave up goals early and often. Uh, he wound up being scored on more often than Paris Hilton in prison, so it wasn't a good night for him. Um, it's, uh, it's not a game that really lends itself to a, a tall, gangly goaltender who has to play his angles well. Uh, there's a lot of skilled players who are holding on to the puck and uh, forcing him to make the first move. So tough night for, for Nathan Lewin uh, out there in the prospects game. Uh, the other two kids, uh, both big kids from the Ontario League, uh, Ed Pasquale, had a very solid night. Um, but Scott Stacher was uh, a, bit of a, you know, a bit of a surprise uh, for Redline Report staff. Um, he tends to be a little bit stiff in his movements sometimes and uh, kicks out too many rebounds, but he was very feisty in this game. He even uh, got into it a little bit, uh, you know, verbal altercations with, uh, with the opposing team around his crease. He was very physical with, uh, with opposing uh, forwards, trying to, uh, trying to get into his space, um, very aggressive and challenging shooters. So all in all, a very good night for Scott Stasier, uh, kind of put himself on the prospect map.